Welcome to RV Living in the USA. This week's review is on Forest Lake, a thousand trails park located in advanced North Carolina. Now, as always, remember to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. Now, when you come in the entrance, you'll park to the right and you can go right here to the ranger station and get checked in. If you're already checked in, proceed, put in your gate code and you can drive straight through. Now, once you come in, you go to the left. This will take you into the main part of the park. It will give you a map showing you where your park location is. And then as you drive in, have your propane and trash located is right there to your left. You have a set of bath houses right here. And then when you continue to come through, you have some more camping on the right and the left. Uh, this is the newer section. It's all paved roads through this section. Um, we're actually located in a G section, which is the brand new section right here to the right where that gentleman just was is a gravel area. That's more of the long term, but they are very well kept clean. As you come to the back of the park, uh, you'll notice campgrounds nice and level. That's one thing we really did like here. Very little leveling when we hit the auto level button. Uh, we were pretty much level to get in. But you come back to the back, this is what one of the features that we really love about this park. They offer storage. Now the storage is $10 a day or $55 for the week. It is gated and locked. You'll get a key at the gate and you can put it in there. And there's a little roundabout here. Once you're done parking in the storage, come on back out and you can head out of the park. We're just going to show you a little bit more. Once we got our rig out of storage, came right down here to the stop sign and we took a right. Now this, you can go straight right here actually is what we did. Uh, this time but when we parked the rig we went to the right uh, you'll come in um, these are short-term rentals uh, where people come in members can stay here uh, retail customers as well now if we would have turned to the right uh, we're going to turn right here and that'll bring us right back out to where we came in at uh, you'll follow a little golf cart here if you'll get out of our way they do have golf carts here so you have to maintain the five ten miles an hour uh, now this section here is the G section. Some of the lots or uh, the pads are paved. Uh, most of them are gravel, but like I said, very level lots. Uh, no complaints at all on that part. Um, we come on right down here. Uh, they had they were I would say probably about 80% full. Um, they did have empty spots available, so uh, we had no problem getting checked in here. Um, there's one of the paved lots right there you can see um, as we come up. That's the bathhouses you've seen right there to the left when we came in that you could turn to go. Uh, this is our rig located right here. We got located right on the end. So as you come around, now this is that first stop sign that we came to that you've seen. We went straight. This time we're going to go across it this way. And this brings you up to your clubhouse and pool areas. Um, this is more shaded. Now, if you continue straight right here, that will take you up a gravel road and it will take you to one of the other laundry mats that we're going to show you as well. We're going to take a left first, though, um, show you up in this section. Uh, this is where all your pools are located and your main clubhouse with your uh, laundry mat located inside of it. Now, if you're looking to come here for a weekend for cabin rentals, they have some really great cabins we're going to show you now. Nice big lake. It's got some cabins that are located right on the lake. So if you want to do some fishing or just sitting out in the evenings enjoying the lake, um, they have lakeside. And then on the right there you located is some uh, more cabins. They're not on the lake. Um, they're probably easier to get, I would imagine. I'm, I'm going to assume that the lake fronts get you know rented early so as you come back up uh, you'll see the ones here on the left uh, they're not lakeside but they're right across from it so you could easily walk down to it if you want to do a little fishing they got a little dumpster here for the people in the cabins to be able to dump with not having to go too far away um, then you continue big lake right here to the right and you're going to see that in uh, later in the video we'll show that to you but we're going to take a left right here these are mixture of long-term uh, and some short-term rentals in here. Um, but like I said, if you look in, you can see they're very well kept. They're clean. They're not cluttered up and junky looking. Um, that's one thing that I really don't like. Um, I don't mind long-terms as long as they're kept clean. 
Um, I don't want to be living, you know, next to people that have been there for years that don't, you know, keep their area clean looking. Um, depending on what you want, uh, you have that opportunity as well. But as we continue straight out here, this is the C Loop. Uh, now these lots right here are short term coming up. They're the ones located closest to the pool. Uh, then next we're gonna actually go in and show you the clubhouses. Um, this is a kiddie pool right here. You park, come in, they got ice. Uh, they have a nice playground here for the kids to play on if they want to. Um, there are security gates here. There's no lock, no lifeguards, so you do have to bring uh, your kids up here and watch them if you're coming. Uh, once you come around the pool, it's a really nice pool, three foot at the shallow end, five foot at the deep end. The adult pool is right over there, as you've just seen. Um, when you come around the back of the pool, now over here in this section, I thought it was a hot tub. It's not a hot tub. It's a two-foot pool for, I guess, for toddlers. Um, thought that was kind of a nice little feature too, so the l little ones can play. Now we're going to go in the game room here, big game room for teenagers um, and younger kids. Uh, you have a little coin making machine here. You can make a souvenir coin. Little kids, and they always like that. Uh, now I love this game. This is one of the old timeies. Uh, remember when I was a little kid, test your shooting skills. But uh, they have got plenty of games, some couch areas to sit around, a couple pool tables, um, ping pong, um, some video game, race car games. Um, all these are all available. Uh, you got pinball here to play if you want to. Um, you know, like I said, a race car game, a little motorcycle game here. Uh, you can test your luck, see how strong you are. You can either embarrass yourself or impress your lady on this one. Um, we're going to show you outside real quick. They have a nice little covered pavilion. So if you did want to have a group up here, I'm um, not sure if you have to rent this area or reserve it. I would imagine most places you reserve it and you can use it. And they got some nice tables out there to set if you want to do that. Um, take you back inside here. Um, air hockey table here to play a uh, couple video games like I said if you've got teenagers I'm probably gonna assume they're gonna live in this area uh, you got some an area for your little kids here little toddlers um, they can have fun too looks like got some books and stuff you can read to them um, sit in here you know I guess take care of the little ones in that area um, now here are the games that uh, the claw machines, uh, you may or may not win on them. Um, if you feel lucky, put your money in, see if you can win. Um, if you're not feeling lucky, come on over here. And uh, we have the bubble gum machines with toys in there. They're guaranteed wins. You put 50 cent in and you're guaranteed a prize. Uh, that's more of the ones I like. Um, I don't like the claw machines. I seem to never win at them. But that gives you a review of the uh, game room. Uh, they do serve ice cream in here as well at times. Uh, they were closed when we were in here. But um, that's the game room. So we're going to go out. We're going to show you the adult pool now. They have a bulletin board. They do bingo and they have a trivial night on the weekends. And they also have a church service on Sundays. Um, so if you're going to church, they have that here as well. Thought that was a great added feature that really impressed us. All right, take you into the clubhouse. Uh, they have a TV, uh, a couple couches, you can watch movies in here. This is where they play the trivia and the bingo at. They have a microwave for making some popcorn during the movies. And they have a men and women's restroom. They do have a shower in each one, and they open up to the outside where the pool area is. They do not want you walking in here with wet feet and bathing suits. Uh, fully understandable on that. As you come outside, uh, they have a nice large pool, three and a half foot deep at the shallow end and five and a half in the deep end. And here's the outdoor doors to go to the restrooms. Uh, located over here to the right uh, is where the church service is at. And they also have a handicap accessible too. And then you can see up there on the hill, uh, that is a kids area pool. Um, the pup up golf down here, we'll take you there next. Uh, I wasn't really impressed. You could definitely use some work. I haven't seen a park yet that keeps up with the putt putt golf. Um, we're gonna take you down by the lake. The putt putt golf extends down here as well. But the lake has a nice bridge that goes across. If you remember where the golf cart pulled out on us when we came in the video, if you would have turned right on that gravel road, it would have brought you to this part of the park over here on the other side of the bridge. 
But um, this shows you where the lake is at. Uh, very large lake, real pretty. Has a little swimming area there to the left, and your cabins are located down there on the right and the left. Um, give you an idea of uh, where they're located at. Now your laundry room, this is the main laundry room up at the clubhouse. It has three washers, three dryers. Uh, the dryers are $1.75 and the washers are $1.50. Um, the secondary uh, laundry room is located at the other end of the park. It has four washing machines and four dryers. Uh, they all work off of the app. Um, or you can use change is our credit card I think it is uh, we like the app where you, when you use it they actually give you five dollars to try it out for the first time um, we use it absolutely no problems at all using it really impressed doing that uh, we're going to take in now show you one of the bath houses are all the same for the most part um, they have some restrooms in them some toilets and they also have a couple showers in each one a um, couple mirrors uh, you know for doing your you know fixing your hair brushing your teeth or whatever but that concludes the uh, park I hope you enjoyed all right welcome to our wrap-up of the review of a thousand trails Forest Lake located in advanced North Carolina as always remember to like and subscribe share with all your friends uh, we even this week we've made a new Facebook page so you can follow us there as well uh, there is a link on the YouTube channel as well as if you want to just look it up yourself on Facebook it is RV living in the USA now let's get started with the review uh, this park like I said is located in advanced North Carolina it's about an hour northeast of Charlotte it has a hundred and eighty eight campsites I believe uh, there's a new section that has 86 campsites uh, the roads are paved uh, level lots um, throughout the park everywhere we seen it was very level didn't see a lot of blocks being used many places at all uh, paved roads with a plus now the full term the long term I guess you could say uh, there are gravel lot or roads going through their parks um, so I don't think that's really much of an issue there um, the pools very clean uh, good hours being able to use them they have activities on the weekends to be able to do check in it's about noon I believe it was right yes so uh, one of the things what we really love here is the storage uh, like I mentioned in the video they offer storage here at ten dollars a day or fifty five dollars a week um, for people like us that have to go on work that's a big big benefit um, <clears throat> so let's go into the bad um, what do you say the bad was on this part? Absolutely nothing, unless you consider a couple of the dryers and washers being down. Other than that, it's very clean, nothing bad. Yeah, I, I agree. There's not really a lot. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody, I mean, that's not going to like something, but uh, we were very happy. Um, I was not dissatisfied, no complaints at all. Now, uh, as far as the good goes, um, I'd say the good is paved roads. They're nice and wide, so you can drive through. Um, even if you got a big rig, I, you know, many of you know our rig's 43 foot long, 13 and a half foot tall, uh, so it's pretty large. We had no problems driving around in here. And your spots are really large areas. You got a lot of room to move around. Yeah, and they're very, they're very uh, level. Um, throughout the park, didn't see a lot of blocks being used anywhere. When we unhooked from the trailer, we were almost level just by unhooking it. So um, that's a huge feature. Um, what else is good there? Um, I'd say the staff. Let's go with the staff. Um, we've had to change because we had to go to Seattle if you watched our last video. So we had to cancel, change, move around, dates, all kind of stuff. They were very accommodating. Even though it was us making the changes, they went out of the way to fix it and make sure it was good for us. So uh, kudos to all the staff. Um, and with that being said, I'd also say the staff is probably going to jump right on top of the uh, doing the laundry. We did laundry on a Sunday, so weekend. So I almost guess if we went down there yesterday that they were right on top of getting them fixed because they're mechanical, things break. As long as you get it fixed in a timely manner, it's not a big deal. Right. Um, and I got to say, 
the Thousand Trails directors here is Bart and Carla Rodden. If I hopefully I said your last name correctly, but they are awesome, amazing. Um, if you need somebody for your agent, you go to them. They're great. And be sure to pay attention to our next and tune in to our next video because uh, we made some changes to our membership and we'll tell you all about that as well. But uh, the last question we always ask is would we stay here again? So Karen, would we stay here again? Yes, we would. Matter of fact, we've already got another week booked. We're already booked and we'll be back. So uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, and until the next time, we'll catch Fish you on, on the, the flip-flop. Flip